Next, after the people are taken care of, buildings and facilities would be the next highest priority. Make sure that you protect the facilities or offer alternatives. If you are unable to ensure that a facility can continue in operation, the next step would be to offer an alternative. Another example of this would be, we all probably remember the story of the building in Florida that became contaminated with anthrax as a result of an attack through the mail. The anthrax was sent to a specific office. When it was open, it contaminated effectively the entire building. Well, there were several businesses in that building. I had been in the building teaching a class prior to this incident and found out later that the company I was working with and other companies effectively had to shut the doors. They were unable to get in and do their business for a period of several weeks. So what if this happened to your building? What if you were told one morning that, sorry, you just can't get in? You actually are barred from your place of business. Can you continue? Well, those are the buildings and facilities features that you want to make sure that you cover. If you cannot protect the facility, then offer an alternative. Infrastructure is another area that we must always consider when looking at continuing our business processes. What happens if the communication systems go down or the information systems? Our computers and information systems go down. We must put in plans to protect these systems and offer alternatives if they are unavailable.